In example three, we have the pineapple at rest on the floor. What is the force of friction on the pineapple and its acceleration if the baby comes along and pulls with a force of four newtons at an angle of 20 degrees above the horizontal? So this, we need a free body diagram of the pineapple. So the baby's pulling with four newtons at 20 degrees above the horizontal and there's some force of friction. We don't know if it's moving yet, so I don't know if it's kinetic or static. There is a force of gravity on the pineapple. And then there's a normal force of the table pushing up. And if I think about the forces, there are components to this force. What I'm thinking about is, I'm thinking about how long should I draw my normal force arrow? So I need to think about the size of these forces. So the upward part of this force is about that long, and this force is that long. So it's not going to accelerate up and down. So vertically, the forces on the pineapple need to be balanced. So I probably need about this much more force so that this normal force plus the component of the baby's force together, added together, those equal the force of gravity. Okay, so that's my free body diagram. What is the force of friction on the pineapple and its acceleration? So I need to figure out if the pineapple is going to move or not. Well, the pineapple will move if this component pulling to the right is bigger than the maximum force of static friction. So I need to find this component and compare it to the maximum force of static friction. I need to find both of those things. Well, this, this is equal to mu static times the normal force. So I know this but I don't know this, so I'm going to need to find the normal force. Okay, so I have a couple things I need to do. Maybe what I'll do first is find the components of this, because that looks pretty straightforward. So the force is 4 newtons. The angle is 20 degrees. So I'm going to to cosine of 20 degrees equals, this is the x component and this is the y component. So cosine is so katoa, it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent is fx over hypotenuse. So multiply both sides by 4 newtons. So we have 4 times cosine of 20 is 3.76. And then to find the vertical component, we can use sine. And multiplying both sides by 4 newtons, we have 4 times the sine of 20. These are the components here of the baby's force. So I know this is now 3.76 newtons, and this is 1.37 newtons. So now I need to find out what the force of static friction is, what maximum it can be. And to do that, I need to know the normal force. So the normal force, how will I find the normal force? That's a vertical force, and vertically the forces are balanced. So, vertically forces are balanced. So that means all my up forces, which would be Fn plus Fy, the component of the baby's force, all the up forces have to equal the down force. So I know Fy is 
is 1.37 newtons. Uh, force of gravity is m times g. So mass was 0.9 kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram. And let's calculate that. 0.9 times 9.8, 8.82. Okay, and then subtracting 1.37 from both sides, gives me 7.45 newtons for the normal force. And then we want to stop and think about, does this make sense? Does it make sense for the normal force to be 7.45? It makes sense because the force of gravity is 8.82. And this force upward is 1.37. So the normal force plus that one has to equal force of gravity. And because the baby's pulling upward, that's reducing some of the pressing between the pineapple and the floor. So the, pine the pineapple is not as pressed against the floor as it would be if the baby wasn't lifting it partly. So that's going to reduce the friction force because when the baby lifts it up like this, it's not pressed against the floor as much, and the force of friction depends on how pressed together those surfaces are. So now I can calculate the maximum force of static friction. So mu s is 0.38, the normal force is 7.45. So calculating that, we have 0.38 times 7.45, which is 2.83. Okay, so now I know the maximum force of static friction. So the pineapple's at rest. If the baby pulls with more force horizontally than this, the pineapple will move. The baby's horizontal force was 3.76. So this force here is bigger than the maximum static friction force which is 2.83. So the pineapple is going to move. So if it moves, that means we have kinetic friction because the pineapple is sliding. So now we need to find the force of kinetic friction. So the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.29 and the normal force for this situation was 7.45. So 0.29 times 7.45 is 2.16. So that is the amount of kinetic friction while it's moving. So what is the force of friction? The force of friction is 2.16 newtons. So that's one of our answers. Then we're also supposed to find its acceleration. To find its acceleration, we need to use Newton's second law. Because the net force is related to the acceleration of the object. So, net force, and I'm doing um, the x direction here because it's accelerating horizontally. So looking at my horizontal forces, we have 3.76 newtons to the right minus a force of friction to the left. And we decided it's moving, so if it's moving, we don't want static friction. If it's moving, it has kinetic friction. So 2.16. And then the mass of the pineapple was 0.9 times the acceleration. So 3.76 minus 2.16 is 1.6. times a, and divide both sides by 0.9, and the acceleration is 1.8 meters per second squared. So in this problem, it's real similar to problem number one that we did. The difference is when you have a force at an angle, 
that's going to impact the normal force. So the normal force is not equal to gravity anymore and you have to combine all the vertical forces to find what the normal force is. And then after that you compare the horizontal component to friction because those are opposing each other to find out if it moves. If it moves you know you have kinetic friction and then you can find the acceleration.